Immortal John Hancock here, and I haven't done a pickups video in a while, and well, here we go. I just want to thank uh, all my fans and subscribers, uh, and just people that took time out of their day to check out my videos. I'm 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 over uh, fifteen thousand five hundred subscribers, and and it's just crazy uh, the support I've been getting this last year. So thankful. Thank you so much. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I just wanted to have a video. Um, I'm always looking for stuff. Uh, I am on a limited budget, but um, you know, I I try to collect as much as I can with the space I have, which is limited. But I wanted to just kind of showcase some of the oddball stuff I do collect. Um, I'm not your typical collector. You know, there's a lot of Nintendo only exclusive collectors. You know, because they make great products. But I'm I'm more interested in the reason why I collect is is you know I would like to have a museum someday, and and to encompass everything that came out which is the which is the oddball as well um, I do focus on consoles though I am a large classic computer uh, fan and collector and so here we go uh, recently I I've been thankful to have a lot of support people are always emailing me hey do you are you interested in this can I donate this can I send you this I'm always interested in stuff especially that I don't have I don't um, I'm not necessarily interested if I if I have it already, and I am missing quite a bit. So, here we go. Um, there's a gentleman on Atari Age that uh, made a multi-cart for the RCA Studio 2, and uh, that's pretty bizarre. Um, came with shell and some some other uh, additional things to it. So I, I thought that was pretty awesome. Very cool. Um, I recently was on a podcast on the Narc podcast and Jason of the NARC podcast uh, sent me uh, some stuff he went to a, a store and scored me some cool things and I wanted to showcase some of those um, he scored me um, white man can't jump with a team tap for Jaguar I was missing the box um, and this combo package I do believe it was sold this way and uh, <laughs> such so bizarre um, that's awesome and which uh you gotta have you know if you're gonna have bad i mean and the, the jaguar has some amazing stuff that that's not one of the amazing things on it but uh, if you're gonna go bad you gotta go with trevor mcfur and i was missing the box for that so definitely um winding down my jaguar set i am missing uh some of the harder to get stuff but i may never get never complete that but that's uh that's on the um the realm of potential uh, anyways yes uh, other bizarre stuff uh, they made some S Atari ST ports to the Jaguar I would like to show some gameplay of this of the gauntlet 2 and that's gonna be on a future podcast hopefully over the holidays we'll see fingers crossed um, I also scored uh, some other crazy stuff anyways um, Jason also scored me um, mutant herd and fourth encounter vic 20 cartridges if you've never seen a vic 20 cartridge they're really long and bizarre and i'm always looking for vic 20 stuff uh it's it's a classic computer and um, i used to have a large collection and a long time ago uh, my wife had a cancer scare and i sold off that computer collection uh, for for uh for for medical and so over time, I've collected a little bit over here and there. I'll never have what, what I had back in the day, but I'm always looking for VIC-20 stuff. It's, it's one of the things, uh, I don't talk about it too often, but, you know, you, you do things uh, when your family needs help, and, and that was definitely uh, um, something I had to do. Anyways, uh, VIC-20 stuff was uh, always something I'm interested in. Uh, he also scored me a pile of uh, Atari 2600 manuals, many of which I was missing. So thank you so much with, for that. So very stoked about that. Uh, this is kind of interesting. I, I apologize for not doing a shout out earlier for this. Uh, Mark's Memory Bites. And Mark has a Facebook page. He does uh, these like 3D diorama, like complete with like frame and everything. Uh, he is in the UK, but... Uh, overseas don't know if he's in the UK anyways he's on Facebook he's got a Facebook page and he does do these 3d dioramas he does ship to the US very reasonable um, prices check him out 
Um, he had not done an Atari one, and I said, well, can you please do my favorite 2600 game? And he said, absolutely, what is it? And so I said, please do Berserk, and this turned out awesome! This is so sweet! This is going to be in my new expansion, yes. I'm expanding my house, and I'm going to have a pre-crash classic room, everything before Nintendo. And, you know, um, I, there's a lot of great gaming setups up there. Um, there's fewer vintage gaming setups, and so I'm going to have a room. It's going to be to play most of my games, uh, but it's going to have the... the the pre Nintendo theme, and it's uh, I'm really excited about it. It's gonna it's gonna be sweet, and which means I'm gonna re redo this room in here and make it a little bit more presentable. And so I'm really excited about that. All right, ongoing other weird stuff I've scored. Um, also want to thank and a huge th a shout out to Mike Sanderson. Mike Sanderson's helped me with some of my graphics on my channel. Donated it by the way. Um, and, and including, uh, in, including the new intro. And so, uh, my intro is going to go through some changes. Uh, I have some other people that want to donate a song. And so that's currently being worked on. But Mike Sanderson has done a lot of help with my channel and my thumbnails all for free. Thank you so much. Very, very appreciative of that. So thank you. Um, all right, next up. Oh, this is bizarre. Uh, I got this donated from Classics and Oddities. And it's Electronics Boutique's, uh, like a promo CD. And this is uh, the Boutique Spring CD-ROM. And uh, on the back here, it's it's totally promoting like a bunch of awesome Super Nintendo stuff. And I just, I, it's a 1996. I mean, this is, you know, the height of, you know, the Super Nintendo. And it's got Virtual Boy on there. And really cool stuff. It's sealed. Um, I do want to check this out. I may open that. We'll see yet. Um, all right. So I did a, a Atari flashback portable, um, review on my channel and, and it, it was successful and that thing can be hooked up to a TV and, and the AV cords for it, I do believe may possibly still be sold out, uh, at games. Well, if you go to mono price, uh, you can get these very cheap. And this cable works uh, <clears throat> works on the Atari Flashback Portable. Very sweet. That works um, for, for the budget collector out there. Check that out. Here's an oddball. Um, Gunsmoke for the Commodore 64 disc version. I got this again at Classics, Classics and Oddities, local game store. Got to support your local folks, um, especially during the holiday. That's where they make profit, keep the lights on. Um, oh, also scored some other cool things. A Turbo Duo Extra Controller, yes. Those don't grow in trees. Nice to have that. Um, alright. Alright, I, I had a, a fan of my site, and pretty much uh, Thomas. Thomas, thank you so much. You donated something off my Super Nintendo set. Spider-Man Separation Anxiety. He had it in his collection, just sent it to me. Thank you so much, Thomas. Very cool. All right. Here's something uh, was donated to Portland Retro Gaming Expo and then was donated to me uh, from Wise Ape. Wise Ape, it's uh, it was uh, looks like it was uh, like a they have tea, they have other interesting things. It's a really interesting packaging and uh, pretty bizarre. It, and uh, it's really good tea if you're a tea fan check out check them out and um, anyways it was an exclusive kind of for uh, a couple people PRGE came with a shirt what's really cool is it came with this it was like their tea but it came in it came in a packaged nest shell and you open it up and there's some there's some tea in there oh, smells good I know you can't smell of it oh it's great so check out wise ape um, it's definitely pretty some sweet stuff Thank you so much, uh, the organizers of the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, I had a great time this last show. Um, definitely looking forward to the next show. All right, so what else we got? Anything else? Always have something else. Oh, yes, a couple other things, and then uh, here to talk about my channel. So uh, here's a random PlayStation game, Typhoon. 
I would like to play this. Um, this looks interesting. I'm probably going to check it out on my channel. Interesting. So, uh, the other thing, uh, there's another local game store, and it's called Epic Entertainment. And Katrina, uh, I've given her business a long time. She's a long-time supporter of Callot's Gamers for Kids. Katrina it scored me a, um, I purchased this recently, uh, is a Wii Mini. And that's a bizarre, that's a bizarre variation of the Wii. Um, I do believe this is going to be a potential Christmas present for one of my kids. So one of my kids, uh, I think, is going to be getting to play this. And so um, I think it's perfect for young kids. Um, a, good, a good game system to start someone out on. So, yep, going to check that out. I think I'm going to have that as a game system uh, for one of my kids. All right. So anything else? Yes. Yes. Huge Odyssey 2 fan. And Odyssey 2 is a classic system that gets overlooked. I am going to be doing a future video for Odyssey 2 games. And there is homebrews made for the Odyssey 2. Fantastic system. Uh, if, if you don't know a lot about Odyssey 2, I did do a video a long time ago. And it is on buried in my channel under the Oddball playlist. Um, and and uh, Forbidden Lands is an Odyssey 2 homebrew game by Rafael Cardozo and he does a ton, I apologize if I got his name wrong, but anyways he does a ton of Odyssey 2 homebrew stuff. He's an amazing programmer um, and we know what's great about Odyssey 2 homebrew collecting um, it's cheap. It's cheap. It's not, you know, it's not this ridiculous $70 price tag. No, for like $25 plus shipping you can get something unique it's only made in you know limited run, and it's you're playing on a classic console. I absolutely love the Odyssey 2. I'm always looking for the oddball stuff. I have a complete collection, but there's there's many accessories I'm still missing they, and promotional items. Anyways, uh, there you go. It's awesome. Huge Odyssey 2 fan. I'm always looking for stuff, and I'm always looking for a lot of different things. Uh, uh, my pretty much uh, rule of thumb is uh, I stop purchasing games for the holidays December 1st uh, that's out of respect for anybody that wanted to um, for family members or, or friends that wanted to get me anything for for the holidays um, it's a good rule of thumb I think to have in general uh, everybody's different but how I how I do it uh, uh, I stop purchasing games in December and and that way it's it's exciting when you get gifts from other people um, it's great so, anyways, thank you so much. Uh, those are some of my game pickups. I'm always looking for things. Um, I'm still looking for one greatest hits game, and I missed. I, I'm mistakenly called it uh, NFL Blitz 2001. I'm actually missing the greatest hits version of NFL Blitz 2000. Now it's not NFL Blitz. There's there's one that was made a year later called NFL Blitz 2000. And it's different, and it, it, there is a greatest hits version of it. And uh, I would like to thank Game Ray for pointing that out and sending me a picture of it. And I'm still looking for it. So if anybody can help me find that, it'd be most appreciated. I'm missing a couple of the uh, bold and blue cart variations of Sega Master System. Uh, I'm missing Ghostbusters. I'm missing a manual for the Rambo uh, re-release. And I'm also missing Enduro Racer, which is a blue cart variation. And so I'd like to do a video on that, but I'm still trying to complete it. Oh, what else? That's about it. Um, always looking for random stuff. Uh, I'm going to start pursuing probably some greatest hits uh, lines of, of other systems, including the uh, Nintendo Select um, of Wii and Wii U. And uh, that seems like a nice subset. It doesn't take up much space. But anyways, I wish I want to wish everybody thank you so much for all the support. I do have a patron. patron. Uh, please uh, uh, don't feel obligated to support it. But uh, any of that funds that, go, that people donate, uh, they go directly to showcasing something on my channel. And so I do this for a hobby. This is not my main job. Uh, I'm trying my best to to have some informative informative and fun uh, videos. Uh, 
I am who I am. Uh, for people looking for something more technical, this is not the channel. Um, I'm just a, a happy-go-lucky collector that enjoys talking about video games in my very limited time off. And anyways, thank you so much. Long rant here. I wanted to show some pickups. This is the immortal John Hancock trying to do two videos a week. Looking forward to do some fun videos over the holidays. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you next week.